the table of content for the, for this presentation is how deep can the ocean be the deepest place in the ocean the layers of the ocean threatens the wildlife ocean creatures pressure anomalies the bermuda triangle bioluminescence deep sea food webs and deep sea archaeology first of all how deep can the ocean be now we've all heard that the ocean is very deep the depth of the ocean varies con it it pretty much varies on where it is the average depth of the ocean is about 12000 feet which is like 3000 3682 meters however there there are areas in the oceans known as trenches that are much deeper the deepest part of the world's ocean is the challenger deep which is located in the marina trench in the western pacific ocean it reaches a depth up to 36000 feet or 10000 meters to put that in perspective it's like if you to if you were to place mount everest the tallest mountain on earth into the jack challenger deep it it would still be a mile it will still be a mile of water above it the depth of the ocean can vary due to many factors and the ocean floor is not a uniform surface it features and and is a diverse range of many different things trenches ridges abyssal plains and there are many different things that put in that are put in to see what, how deep can the ocean be the deepest place in the ocean now as i said one one of the deepest places in the ocean is a chal- is known as the challenger deep which is located in the marina trench in the western pacific ocean now the challenger deep is the deepest known point of point in any of earth's oceans it reaches the depth of 36000 as i said and this de- depth was measured and com- confirmed at 2010 with an expedition by a deep sea challenger sub- submission now the it was piloted by a filmmaker that explored j uh, the explorer's name was james cameron and this person actually went he was a movie maker who went in there to actually make a movie that i am pretty sure we all know as finding nemo now now this man went into the challenger deep and is this is the part of the marina trench which is situated in the western pacific ocean and he had to go all the way there to actually even enter the place specifically it is located in the southern part of marina trench the challenger deep is there now the marina trench is surprisingly really hard to get into but there is even life at that incredible depth organisms that thrive in the challenger deep adapt to extreme pressure cold temperature and limited fo- food sources these creatures include various type of fish amphipods and giant single cell creatures i you can say that layers of the ocean the ocean is divided into several layers or or zones based on the depth and amount of light that portrays each layer these layers are from the surface to the deepest place you can get the epileptic zone also known as the sunlight zone this is the top layer extending from the surface about 65 665 feet or 200 meters deep 
in this region where sunlight can portray allowing photo photosynth photosynthesis to occur in the sunlight zone this zone is uh, is home to a variety of marine life including plankton fish and many other marine mammals now the mesoplitic zone also known as the twilight zone the mesoplitic zone ranges from about about um 6600 600 6, 6, 6 feet deep or 200 meters and goes up to the depth of around 3280 feet so from 656 feet it goes to the depth of 3000 feet which is like 1000 meters and here sunlight is limited and this zone is characterized by the faint blue twilight many fish species such as lantern fish are have are adapted to this environment now we have the bath Atlantic zone, also known as the midnight zone. The zone extends about uh, from three thousand feet to approximately thirteen thousand feet. Thirteen thousand feet. It is pitch black in this environment, and are hunting, and are hunting. They are hungry. This place. almost has no sunlight creatures here often have bioluminescence which we will speak about later in this presentation bioluminescence they have uh, this is an it's like adaptation for communication and hunting water pressure is significant at these depths now we have the abyssopolic uh, zone also known as the okay fine this the uh, bisopolic zone the uh, bisopolic zone ranges from about 13000 feet to 19000 feet we are getting deeper in this region of complete darkness high water pressure and extreme cold many bizarre and unique creatures inhabit this zone next we have uh, the hard the pelic zone the trench zone now the hadapelic zone is the deepest part of the ocean that includes tr ocean trenches it extends from around 19000 feet to the greatest o ocean depth which is about 36000 feet in the challenger deep of the marina trench life life in the zone uh, has adapted to withstand withstand extreme pressures and minimal food sources threatens to wildlife in the ocean wildlife in the ocean face numerous threats many of the many of which are caused by human activities as a lot of us will know here are some of the significant threats to marine life in the ocean first of all overfishing overfishing de depletes fish population disrupting marine ecosystems and threatens the food now threatens the food security and coastal communities now un unsustainable fish fishing practices such as bycatching and illegal and illegal unreported unregulated also like this is also called illegal unreported unregular and unregular also known as iuu fish fishing contributes to a problem of many different things and overfishing can be terrible now pollution pollution from land based sources including plastic sewage many other things that we all use and throw as trash now all this is can harm ocean creatures because they can eat it and i i can tell you one thing 
it probably won't digest. Climate changes. Climate changes has led to rising of sea temperature, ocean acidification, and the sea level rising. These changes are, are like a distribution of many marine species, coral reefs, and other habitats dying. Now, habit destruction. Human activities such as coastal development, uh, trawling and destroying critical marine habitats like coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass beds. These habitats are for fish, and we are destroying them. Invasive species. Now, water from a ship. Now, ballast water from a ship can transport invasive species to new areas, disrupting local ecosystems outco and outcomes. Now, this is honestly pretty bad, and we have to do something about it. Marine debris. Plastic pollution in, in marine life is very harmful, releases chemicals which should not be there in the first place. It's honestly killing every fish in that environment. Noise pollution. Now, when I learned about this, I mean, I was shocked because I did not think noise pollution would be something harming ocean creatures. But underwater, noise from shipping, industrial activities, and military excises can disrupt marine mammals, including whales and dolphins, which rely on sound for communication and navigation because they use echoes and all this noise we are creating just ruins it all. Oil spills. Accident oil spills actually kill a lot, and I mean a lot of animals. Okay, we should at least try to clear all the oil spills, but after we do, it has still harmed marine life. Now, now I know you will all, you all are probably already bored of all of this, but now there are going to be some images here. Ocean creatures. Now, I'm going to speak about like a few creatures from, uh, from each zone. So here are some images to, so you guys aren't bored anymore. The surface zone. In the surface zone, we have dolphins. These intelligent marine mammals are often seen riding waves at the surface. Sea turtles. Species like the green sea turtle and the loggerhead turtle can be found near the surface or sometimes on land. Flying fish. These fish have adapted to leap out of the water, water and glide about, above the surface to escape predators. Tuna. Tuna such a yellowfin tuna and a skipjack tuna are known for their fast swimming abilities and frequently found in the upper layers of the ocean, ocean such as the surface zone. And I might just warn you guys, after the twilight zone, I, I suppose after the sunlight zone, you might start seeing some scary animals. The twilight zone. In the twilight zone, I mean, no, the sunlight zone. In the sunlight zone, there are jellyfish. Many species of jellyfish with bioluminescence uh, properties are found in this zone. Squid. The col colossal squid inhabits this zone and zones under. Uh, this, These are very big squids but i just put a regular squid just imagine that's a jumbo sized regular squid okay swordfish these powerful predators hunt for their prey in the surface zone and the twilight zone. i mean the sunlight zone coral reefs while primarily uh, primarily found like in shallow waters coral reefs do extend all the way down here 
Now here are some scary ones. The twilight zone. Lantern fish. These small glowing fish are a critical part of the deep sea food web. Giant squids, which are these nightmares. Giant squids are very rarely seen and they are known for inhabiting the twilight zone. Dragon fish. Now dragon fish, these uh, fish use bioluminescence and have adapted to low light conditions. Sperm whales. These deep, dive, deep diving whales hunt for squid and other prey in this zone. This is like the giant squid. Usually they are about not this deep, but they sometimes are. The midnight zone. In the midnight zone, we have this monster named the angler fish. This angler fish knows for, are known for their bioluminescent lore. Anglerfish are adapted to extreme darkness. Gulper eels. I love gulper eels, but these bizarre looking creatures have large mouths that can expand when it wants to eat, swallow prey. Giant isopods. These deep sea, uh, sea crustaceans savage on food on the ocean floor. So these dudes can't exactly hunt for much, but they actually wait for food from above the water to come all the way down to the midnight zone. And then finally, we have the abyssal zone. The abyssal zone have some pretty weird fish. One of them is the barrel eye fish. These fish have tub tubular eyes that can rotate within a transparent dome on their heads. They live in the depth between 600 and 2,500 meters, but might, but might venture deep into the abyssal zone. And oh, by the way, that thing there is actually their eyes. Yeah. Fang tooth fish. Known for their long, sharp teeth, these small deep sea fish primarily live in the abyssal zone, despite their, their usually appearing very small in length, like just a few inches. The frilla shark. This is like the primary species of shark that resides in the darkest depth of the abyssal, abyssal zone. Pressure. Pressure in the ocean, also known as hydro, hydrostatic pressure or water pressure, is a significant environmental factor that varies within depth. The deeper you go, the increase of pressure. This pre so the, the pressure increases as you go deeper and deeper into the ocean. It's primarily due to the weight of the water above you increasing. Pressure increase with depth. The pressure in the ocean increase with depth because of the weight above the water pressing down on you. For every 10 meter, 33 feet, uh, 33 feet, uh, you descend into the pressure increase by a, around one atmosphere, which is approximately 14.7 pounds per square inch PSI at sea level. Measuring pressure. Now, when, me when measuring pressure came into my mind, I thought they just throw something into the depth of the ocean and it'll crush and then boom, they measure pressure. But no, pressure in the ocean is typically me measured by uh, uh, units of atmosphere, ATM, or Pa Pascal, PA. At the ocean's surface, uh, pressure is 180 m, which is equivalent to 101.3 kilo pascal. Kilo scale. Now you could just say KP, KPA. The pressure increases. Wait. Can you all actually, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I can't, I can't, oh yeah, I can't see it. Okay. 
Now, now what the pressure? Now, mm, now effects of pressure. The hi the high pressure in the deep ocean has various effects. It compresses gases, making them more dense. This is why deep sea divers need special equipments to breathe and get to these great depths. Pressure can also affect the structure of an organisms and the material used in deep sea exploration. Pressure and marine life. Many organisms in the ocean, especially those one in deep sea, have evolved to withstand that extreme pressure. Their bodies are adapted, have adapted to withstand that pressure. Now now, submersibles and, uh, and ROVs. Submersibles are remote operated vehicles, also known as ROVs, ROVs, used for deep sea exploration and are designed to withstand high pressure of the deep ocean and are typically constructed with thick hulls and pressure res resistant material. Challenger deep exploration. The high the high pressure of the deep ocean, like the Challenger Deep, presents the challenges of exploration and studies, studying of these environments. And this is one of the factors that limits how deep a human can dive or send equipment without being crushed by the pressure. Anomalies. Anomaly, an anomaly refers to something that is unusual, not normal, or unexpected with a given context or field. The scientific realm of anomalies are often uh, observed you in typical patterns or data set leading to un, unexpected or particular outcomes now anomalies in the ocean are referred to unusual unexpected occurrence conditions of elements which is within the mean within the marine environment these anomalies can encompass the wide range range of factors including temperature temperature bio, biological and events and here are some uh, pretty common types of anomalies in the ocean temperature anomalies one of the most well known ocean anomalies is el, el nino is el nino and la nino fermor el nino events are character, uh, characterized by abnormal warming of the surface waters in the central and eastern parts of the Pacific Ocean, leading to a widespread climate impact worldwide. Inconsist uh, La Nina events include cooler than average sea surface temperatures and same in region. These anomalies can disrupt weather patterns, affect marine life, and can impact coastal communities. Current anomalies. Change in the ocean current, uh, change in the ocean currents, such as Gulf Stream, can have a far-reaching consequences, and anomalies in the ocean current currents aren't affected by climate or marine ecosystem or even shipping routes. Sea level, okay, bi biologic, biologic anomaly, bio biologic anomalies. These include unusual occurrence of marine life such as harmful algae blooms, also known as red tides, the mass stranding of marine life. These anomalies can disrupt ecosystems, harm to aquatic organisms, and have and have many different consequences. Sea level anomalies. Sea level anomalies can are a result from various factors, including 
thermal expansion of seawater due to the temperature changes and the melting glaciers in the polar ice caps. These anomalies lead to coastal flooding and errors. Now, tsunamis. Although they although not strictly anomalies, tsunamis are rare and but destructive events that include sudden displacement of large volume of water that come from under the sea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. And they they can cause significant coastal damage and loss of life. Marine heat waves. These are basically abnormal warmth on the sea surface temperatures, and marine heat waves can stress the marine ecosystem, harming the coral reefs and affecting fisher fishers. Biodiversity anomalies. Change in the dispute of abundance of marine species can be considered biodiversity anomalies. For example, the expansion of invasive species or the sudden decline of a key predator can disrupt the ocean ecosystem. The Bermuda Triangle. Now, the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, uh, loosely is defined as a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean. Its boundaries are at points at Miami, Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. The area uh, gained uh, through this unexplained disappearance of ships and aircraft leading to a wide, a wide range of speculations, myth, and legends. But about this is supposed a supernatural or supernatural causes. And also Bermuda Triangles are also known as anomalies. The term Bermuda Triangle was first written by Winston, Win, Vincent Gaddis in 1964 magnesized articles over time it has become a popular area of interest and conspiracy theories and even paranormal enthusiasm disappearing disappearing incident over the years several ships boats and aeroplanes have vanished un- under the mysterious circumstances circumstances of the bermuda triangle the most famous disappearance is that of Flight 19, a group of five U.S. Navy troop bombers in 1945 of the, of the Squan drone disappeared during a train, training flight or a subsequent search on a rescue mis- mission also vanished, adding to the mystery of the area. Speculation. Various theories attempt to explain the disappearance of the Bermuda Triangle raging from the scientific supernatural theories. Some theories uh, propose magnetic anomalies, rough waves, methane methane gases, eruptions from the seafloor, or even influence from from extra-starting beings. Scientific perspective. Many scientists and experts argue, argue on that the number of incidents within the Bermuda Triangle is not significantly ha- higher than any other well-traveled region of the world. They attribute the most disappearance or natural factors such as human error, violent weathers, or navigation mistakes. Popular culture. The Bermuda Triangle has become a subject of interest in literal movies, documentaries, and even popular cultures. It, remain, it remains a popular topic for TV shows, books, and movies. To, and, and people still explore the myths and legends of the Bermuda Triangle. Bioluminescence. bioluminescence. Now, what is bioluminescence? I did... I did a 
put bioluminescence here and there in this presentation. Now, how does bioluminescence work? It involves in chemicals reacting between light emitting molecules called luciferin and enzymes and enzymes that react producing light with no heat occurrence in nature bioluminescence is, a, is commonly observed in various marine organisms such as fish algae jelly, jellyfish and some type of bacteria flies and glowworms are well known example of bioluminetic biolumin bioluminetic insects adaptations in the deep sea where no sunlight betrays many organisms use bioluminescence for communication camouflage attacking prey or deterring prey some species use it to create a distractions or flashing light to confuse predators or you could just take a angler fish for example oceanic from moon the ocean in particular hosts a wide array of bioluminetic organisms many deep sea creatures emit light for various purposes including counter illuminating matching the light level above or below to avoid uh, uh, attraction and attacking prey scientific research scientists study bioluminescence to understand its mechanism and its use in various applications such as medical diagnosis drug discovery i'm just going to get this right there are good drugs and bad drugs some like medicines can also be called drugs and visual uh, making in biological study global impact the pressure of bioluminetic organism in indicate in indicate the health of an ecosystem change in bioluminetic patterns can signal environment shifts or pollution issues deep sea food wells where what oh uh okay the deep sea food web is a complex network of feeding relationship among organisms living in the ocean's deepest regions it involves a diverse array of creatures each playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance and stability of an ecosystem primary products at the base the, the food web are primary uh, po- products like bacteria or phytoplankton used as chemicals or sun energy to produce organic matter serving the primary food source deep down herbivores and omnivores these organisms feed on primary producers just like zooplankton small fish and crustaceans from their vital link between primary products and large predators deep sea predators larger fish uh, larger fish like cephalopods like squids and octopuses and other predators occupying various trophic levels in the deep sea they feed on herbivores and om- omnivores shaping and structuring the food web St- scavengers sca- scavenger scavengers and dirty wolves scavengers such as hagfish and some deep sea crustaceans feed on de- uh, decaying matter and waste like for example the those giant isopods wait for food to come all the way down there to eat apex predators apex predators are typically at the top of the food chain they have few or no natural predators including many large fish sharks or marine mammals like sperm whales specialized adaptations many sea organisms possess unique adaptations such as bioluminescence specialized jaw sensory organs or aid in hurting avoiding predators or surviving in the extreme condition seismomonas seismosinitis the absence of sunlight a uh, science size the absence of sunlight like seismosis uh, bacteria utilizing chemicals from 
hydraulic vents and producing organic matter uh, su sustaining life around these vents creature like giant tube worms and other vent organisms rely on this source of nutrients deep sea archaeology now deep sea archaeology refers to the study and exploration of submerged artifacts shipwrecks and ancient remains found deep in deep 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 sea environments this field merges archaeology with marine and science marine and ancient this marine science and technology to explore human history and culture in underwater locations submerged sites deep sea archaeology invent investigates sites submerged underwater due to natural disasters coastal changes or human activity these sites often contain ancient shipwrecks lost cities and uh, remains of past civilization changes called research in deep sea environments pose significant challenges due to the extreme depth high pressure limit visibility harsh conditions these challenges require specialized equipment and technology for exploration technology and advancements technology advancement uh now technology like remotely open vehicles rovs or uh, uh, auto uh, autonomous underwater vehicles auvs side side scan sonar and specialized diving equipment enable research to explore and document submerged okay, archaeological sites discovery of shipwrecks shipwrecks in the deep sea have been discovered including vessels from various historical periods and these disco discoveries provide insight into trade navigation and life of in ancient times this preservation deep sea environments often preserve artifacts in remarkable well due to low temperatures and lack of light oxygen and micro activity as a result artifacts may remain intact for centuries cultural and history historical insights the discovery made through deep sea archaeology offer valuable insight into past cultures seafaring trades routes and historical events contributing to deeper understanding of human history and environment cocktails while exploration is in is essential for research their eth ethical <laughs> ethical consideration regards sites preservation uh, respecting culture hybrid and environmental impact balance the pursuit of knowledge within that conversation and efforts and crucial i know everybody is right now bored and a lot of you might not be listening but here are uh, now if you have any questions or something you don't understand you can ask me right now and i'll try my best to answer them why can i ask a question yes okay so why is the triangle like the triangle i forgot what it's called the mood triangle But, yeah yeah that triangle why is it called the devil's triangle because many ships planes and boats have gotten lost there and lost there so people think it's the work of a devil so it's also known as the devil's triangle okay
Any I other facts more. about that? I need more questions. Okay, uh, Muhammad Amir, you can ask. I'm confused. Muhammad Amir. Uh, how many deep uh, can a submarine go or anything? Uh, a submarine, how deep can it go? Uh, where it varies on what material the submarine is made of, uh, the, the what material it's made of, how much pressure can withstand. And it, there, are many, there are many factors for a submarine and depending on all of these factors, that that will uh, that helps it go deeper. So the better the submarine, the deeper it can go. So if a submarine is made out of a good material, can withstand a lot of pressure, it can go deep. Yes, Abigail. So my doubt is almost like um, this person, like how, like how. Bottom can a human go to sea? What? I, I do not understand. Could you repeat, please? Like how how low how low like how deep can a human go in a sea? If you just go just like that, you probably can't even be there for two minutes. Depending on all the etiquette you have, how much oxygen you have, how much pressure everything you have can withstand. That's it's the same thing with submarine. The better stuff you have, the deeper you can go. Yes, uh, a handbacker. Okay. Why is Bermuda Triangle a triangle? See. Uh, so the Bermuda Triangle is a triangle because it is an area between Miami, me, Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. And these three places connected make a triangle. So it's called a Bermuda Triangle. Yes, Muhammad Ahmed. Uh, what is the, like, what is the uh, organism that has lived uh, in the deepest sea? Um, now, Till now, scientists does not know every organism that has lived very deep, but the deepest, the organism that's known to live the deepest is the snail fish, which is like a kind of transparent fish. And it, this fish has, its body has been built to withstand the pressure, pressure of the, the deepest parts of the ocean. And the snail fish is the deepest living organism. Known to okay. mankind for now. Uh, I, I have one more question. What yes. causes the ocean to be blue? What? What causes the ocean to be blue? So, uh, mostly why the ocean is blue, it kind of reflects the color of the sky. So, if the ocean is technically blue, the sky... So if the sky is technically blue, the ocean will look blue. If the sky is red, the ocean will look not look as blue but more in a reddish shade so that's mostly why the ocean is blue okay Question. yes mahumad amir what can i ask one question yeah if you want to ask a question just raise your hand so i know you want to ask one. yeah i uh why my question is uh, is this a dangerous fishing world? What? This is a dangerous fish. Yeah, there are many different dangerous fish. Mostly we blame sharks, but there are others. There are, there are species of sharks that are very dangerous and many other ocean creatures. So yes, there are many dangerous ocean creatures. Yeah, thanks. Um, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so you talked about uh, like pollution and we all know about uh, plastic pollution in ocean and all that. Uh, so do you know any like lesser known threats to the ocean like that um, people don't know much about but still need to yeah, like, for example, raise awareness? 
yeah for example take this when this when all this pollution we send out into the ocean it makes very harmful enzymes or you could say it's a kind it's a kind it's like enzyme that mix up with the water and this is very bad for the ocean creatures because it harms them in many in it harms them a lot mainly yes yes uh, can i ask a uh, last on my last question i have a question yeah yeah, yeah. you can please ask what is the impact of climate change on the ocean or how does uh, the climate change yeah. now impact on the one ocean? yeah now one very common thing is global warming as we know the earth getting hotter and hotter which is global warming which where ice is melting increasing sea levels which is not a good which is not a good thing so mainly it's global warming so yeah you know all of this pollution that you all know you all know it because it is the most effective pollution that means if if global warming was not such a feel and it wasn't that hot then most likely you would know of it but the more effective the pollution the more people know about it i just wanted to say that any more questions yes honio i have a question what is why the ocean is blue um i already answered that question but if you didn't hear that uh, it's because the ocean kind of reflects the color of the sky so sometimes the sky is blue as you know so if the sky is blue the ocean reflects it and looks a lot more blue if when it's around evening time and the sky is getting like a more reddish shade the ocean kind of reflects that and does not look as blue but does not look very red it looks in in the kind of shade of red when it's like the color of the sky so it kind of reflects the color so yeah any more questions the most dangerous creature in the world what 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 is the most dangerous creature in now i can't exactly say one creature is more dangerous than the other there are many different terrifyingly dangerous creatures some sharks but sharks are very misunderstood by the way sharks giant squids anglerfish there are many different dangerous creatures and uh, i can't exactly say one is more dangerous than the other but there are many different dangerous creatures so yeah Okay. Um, I have another question as well. Uh, so you talked about like adaptations of marine organisms in like deep sea, like because mm -hmm. of the pressure, and they can adapt to the pressure. Do you yes. know um any adaptations of marine organism in the polar regions? In the polar regions, yeah. So some fish in the polar region have adapted to that. cold climate in that freezing water not to freeze to death and to actually and are able to survive in that extreme cold um like do you have examples like for ex for example um i don't know i so okay now i get it penguins aren't fish or okay you could take narwhals for example narwhals are a kind of fish which have these horns and they have a lot of belly fat which actually helps them survive in that cold so climate the fruits, which is bomb the scary thing is if robots this work would be pointless now we're in the current year and around this time players would make um any more questions I have one more. Yes. Why in the ocean? Why the whale? Whale skin. So now the 
why is the whale in the ocean? Yes, I'm talking about it. Now, honestly, you could just ask that on any fish, but every fish is important. If the whale is in there, the plankton, the plankton population could increase, or should I say shrimp population? So if something eats something else, it needs to be there. Because if that something is not there, the something it eats, there'll be more of that something. So the, and every fish has its reasons. And I suppose we'll have a lot more reasons than just this much. But th this is just one simple reason for you. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, uh, which is the uh, real color of the ocean? Like, if you look at water, water is pretty much transparent. Oh, I take this for example. This is a bottle of water. To me, it would look green because it's in a green, green bottle. So basically, the ocean is just transparent, but because it's reflecting the color of water, it looks blue. Okay. Then, which is the biggest, um, longest ocean? Blue whale. The blue whale blue. is the largest creature and the largest fish on the planet. Not the creature. I'm talking about the ocean. Which is the longest ocean? Yeah. The biggest ocean? That's a good question. The biggest ocean? I'm, I didn't really do that research. I didn't really check which is the biggest ocean. But I suppose it's the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Let me check. Which Pacific Ocean? Which is the largest ocean? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was right. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Can I ask one question? Yes, you can ask. Can I? Can I ask one? Yes, you can ask. Just the dangerous. Off, off the yeah. Just the dangerous is the ocean. I think this is the third time somebody's asked me that. I can't say which is the most the dangerous time. because many different fish, like sharks, which are very misunderstood by the way, sharks are pretty misunderstood. Uh, but they are still, some of them are pretty dangerous. You could take sharks, giant squids, anglerfish. I can't say one fish is more dangerous than the other because honestly, all of them are very dangerous. I have one more question. Yes, please ask me. Most of the time uh, in the ocean, there's a stone. They are so dangerous. Why is that? Because uh, we are playing high sky and we jump, we jump and uh, mistakenly if we fail in the ocean, uh, we get hurt. Why the stones are very dangerous? Sometimes we get hurt when we, we most of the time we die in the, um, in the stone. I don't exactly get your question. The only thing I heard was stone and dangerous. Okay. I am telling that when we are doing high sky, high sky, up of the highest building we jump, then uh, once we fell, mystically we fell in the ocean. Most of the time we died in stone. Why the stones are so dangerous? They have like a sharp, like... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so you see, now, when you jump from a very high place and you land on the ocean, if the, if the place you landed and it's, it's pretty shallow, you will die. You will probably break all the bones in your leg. But if it's deeper, deep enough, 
so you won't touch the ground on the, the trench of the ocean then yeah you won't you won't you won't exactly die but if the water you hit is shallow yes you will die uh, or at least break all the bones in your legs can i ask a question what can i ask a question can i ask a question yes you can you can ask question after this question and how many more questions can i, can I ask a question yes i want to ask a question what okay so oh, what wait. Oh, wait, wait just run on one minute okay everybody uh whoever wants to ask a question just raise your hand and i'll raise check the participants and see who's first okay rayan yeah what's your question okay so my question is like what's the deepest humanity was able to get to in the ocean Thirty, uh 36850 oh. feet I, yeah feet oh okay are you able to go lower than that though yes you can but humanity has not gone lower than that yet Okay. Uh, after you ask, yeah. After you ask a question, just lower your hands. Yes, Muhammad Amir, you're next. How was the tsunami made, uh, and some ocean natural disasters? So how the tsunami is made is when it's like an you could say it's an earthquake underwater or an underwater volcanic er eruption. which causes a tsunami to occur they are regular waves but tsunami are a lot more destructive yeah okay thank you welcome next is anik abdullah hello yes said the like how many type of oceans are there What do you mean type? I mean how many oceans are there? How many? How many oceans? Um I'm I think I think there are four oceans, four. Yeah, there are four oceans. Yeah, there are four oceans. I yeah. they are they are the four oceans which are the atlantic pacific indian and arctic ocean but now there's also a fifth ocean there are four well according to my research i found out there are four oceans the atlantic ocean pacific ocean indian ocean and arctic ocean okay which is the biggest The biggest is the Pacific Ocean. Can I ask a question? Yes. Your Honio, Honio. It's Honio's turn. Okay. Okay. I have a question. What is that? After um uh, after Honio, can I ask? Yes. Yeah. Next. Um. Under uh. Ocean inside of the ocean, in the deepest, deepest ocean. Why there is a um, like a mountain, and like under that there will be a lava, lava, and why the bubbles are coming, and why uh there's why the waters there, and why lava is inside of the water. I have a question. What? I am telling inside of the ocean there are most of the time there are lava, lava. That's because they are underwater volcanoes. Okay, and what? Why the? And why the uh, lava are staying inside of the what ocean? Because they are underwater volcanoes, like. erupt they erupt and yeah like 
टाइटैनिक because it was one of the biggest ships and still stays one of the biggest so i subtonic goes it's the titanic island. yeah i think so it's the titanic let me see. let me check if i'm right which is the largest ship that sun Ah. Yeah, it's Oh, okay. I was wrong. It was the Yamato. It was Yamato. It was Yamoto. like a it was like a battleship. I have a question. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, wait. Yeah. So, uh why does an ocean freeze like when it's super cold? ice is so the ocean does not freeze when it's super cold it kind of does like in the north pole and south pole that ice is most likely the ocean but why the ocean does not freeze because there is heat coming from the ocean and that does not let the ocean freeze but some bits of the ocean will freeze and make small pieces of ice like ice yeah okay i have another question so yes. when uh, so you told ocean freezes right but uh, i think ocean has like salt which yes which yes will, that's yeah stop exactly stop it from being nice exactly that's what that's a point i missed exactly you're right there are bits of the ocean that will freeze but most likely the ocean won't freeze because there's salt in it exactly that exactly okay. I have a question. Yes, please. I thought there'll be no questions today, but there are a lot. Okay. Yes, ask, please. Mm. Which are the uh, or oh, there is some oceans that are um, too much clean and some oceans that are not that clean. So, how much oceans are like that? I'm not exactly sure how many oceans are clean and how many aren't, but bits of many oceans are dirty because of pollution. Yeah. Thank you. Akash, there is not even a cleanest ocean in the world. Yeah, almost every ocean is dirty. Thanks to mankind. Yes, Muhammad. Even a little part is not. Yes, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Uh, so, like, which is the largest um sea in the sea? It's the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, which is the largest sea in Asia? My what? Which is the largest what? Ocean. Which is the largest sea in Asia? In in what? In Asia. Oh, that's the South China Sea. Okay. Literally, there is a question. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. You can ask a question. Which is the biggest sea in Gulf countries? I don't think he is taking the topic seas. Um, if I did not study about seas, I studied about oceans. Wait, uh, then which is the ocean? Me, who, asked, who asked me which is the largest ocean? Who asked me which? Is, 
largest sea in Asia. Ayaz. Did you say ocean or sea? Sea. Oh, okay, fine. No, okay. Then, uh, then, which is the largest ocean in Gulf? Ocean in Gulf. I don't know. I just, I don't really study which is the largest ocean in many different places. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I... For uh, how long has this I have, been going? I have I have a question. Yes, what is your question? So which is the shortest ocean in the world? What? Which is the shortest ocean in the world? Which is the smallest? Oh, yeah. Uh, um, um, I think it's the Arctic Ocean or the Indian Ocean. <laughs> okay, so I have another one. Also. Indian is one of the most biggest. So, what, which is the largest, not the yeah, longest ocean? Which is the longest ocean? The largest ocean is the Pacific not the, Ocean. Not the, not the largest, the longest. The long. Which is the, which is the longest? Yeah, longest. The Pacific Ocean. Okay. <laughs> Which is the uh, world big and too clean uh, ocean in the world? Wait, what? Which is the cleanest Which ocean? Is the in cleanest the world? ocean and the biggest. The biggest is the Pacific Ocean, and the cleanest and is the South Pacific Ocean. It's between the South Pacific Ocean and the South Atlantic Ocean. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Yes. Uh, how much uh, oceans that are? Uh, how much color you know, oceans are there? The color of the ocean depends on the color of the sky. The sky is red. The ocean is not red, but a bit red. It's just it basically reflecting the color um, of the sky. I have a question. No, how much reflect um, oceans are I there? I have a like question. That? And I ask. I yes, have a question. Yeah, is a question that is, which is a dangerous ocean in the world? What? Yeah. I have a question. Wait, wh what did you say? Dangerous ocean. So, which is the most dangerous ocean in the world? Yeah. The Pacific uh, Ocean. What is it? Is that a real great uh, um, I Why is it dangerous? Why it, it is dangerous? Because there are, there's dangerous sea life there. It's very deep. It's very big. You can get lost there. And it's very dangerous. So okay, which is the... Ocean? How much feed will be the... Uh, at large ocean. Can I ask? How much feed will be there to the world biggest ocean? The marina trench. Take the deepest part of the marina trench. That's the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean. Thank you. No, I'm telling that I have a question. how much feet it will take. <laughs> it will take around 36,845 feet. I have a question. Yes. 
Which is the dirtiest ocean in the world? Which which is the dirtiest? Dirtiest, yeah. Um. Okay. Pacific Ocean. Every. Okay. I think yeah, it's the Pacific Ocean. I think yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Pacific. With, oh, with around two million, I mean two trillion pieces of plastic in it. So, how much? Which is the uh, ocean that have too much tsunamis in it? Too much what? Tsunamis. In it. I don't know that the, more, the more volcanic explore the more volcanic eruptions they are, the more earth, underwater earthquakes they are, the more tsunamis they are. So how much um, uh, earthquakes are happened in the world biggest ocean? Um, really? I, I don't know. I I, I don't I don't know. Agus, Agus, yeah. Can I ask a question? Yes, ask. What is the deepest point of the ocean? The deepest part of the ocean is at the Marina Trench at thirty-six, at thirty-six thousand four hundred forty. I mean, no, eight hundred forty-five oh, okay. feet deep. Okay. Next one is the At Atlantic and. Pacific Ocean are connected by which man-made water? What? I, waterway. What? The Atlantic and Pacific Ocean are connected by which man-made waterway? I, I don't know. I did not. I already told you about oceans. Yeah, I, I said about the oceans. I have one more question. Okay, I don't know. And the next, the last one is, what is the name of the ocean that comes from the Latin name for peaceful ocean? No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I did not, I did not study Latin. I have a okay, question. Okay. Which, is the, uh, which is the largest fish home that is made at the largest ocean? What? Which is the largest fish hole, fish home that is made at the largest fish? Uh, I suppose ocean. it's the Marina Trench because from the top to the bottom there are over a trillion fish. Okay. Uh, then I how a, much? I have a question. I have a question. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. why the ocean? The ocean is salty. Salty. What? Why the ocean is salty? Salty. The water is salty. That's because it's good for the fish to live in salty water. And I have one more doubt. Yes. Why, uh, why, uh, you know, when we go under the ocean, the deepest ocean, then we sometimes will find a treasure. Treasure. Why there is a treasure inside uh -huh. of the ocean? Where? Why is there a trench at the Bottom of an ocean. Yeah. A trench is basically something that has the bottom of the ocean. It's just there. It's just called a trench. How much? And, uh, I have a question. And I have one more. How much fish are died at the uh, largest ocean in the world? They are probably the over a trillion. Okay. And I have one more question. Why? Yes. Uh, see, why there? In the ocean, there will be like one uh something else will come uh, like like there's a bottle inside of that. There will be one book and you will see there's a map. We we'll have to go here. Why is that 
phone guys. Uh, oh, why are you dead? Why Why I am telling in the ocean sometimes uh, there is a glass what called green color glass and inside of that they will put one pepper they will say they will put another to know where are they or where we should go like that why uh, is why they put that in the ocean? What I understood is wine glass and pepper in the wine glass and then ocean. I know. I no, sometimes it. if we, we find uh, from the ocean, uh, the whales will come to the glass, green color glass. Inside of that, there will be a map. Map. They will say we should. Uh, they would say oh, it's basically somebody's. I'm not that sure if it's all real and stuff, but that's basically like I suppose in movies they put a piece of paper paper in a bottle that they found find on an island, put into the ocean, and if somebody sees it, they know somebody needs help and yeah. Okay. Gosh, okay. Agash. Hi there. Okay. So Abigail. Yes. Question that why you raise your hands? Uh, what, ma'am? Abigail, do you have any question that's why you raise your hand? Yeah, ma'am, I have a question. The last question. Yeah. Please ask the question quickly because it's almost 3.20 and we also yeah. have to fill our evaluation sheet. Yeah. Okay, so which ocean does not have any fishes there? <laughs> What? Which ocean has uh, which ocean does not have any fishes? Every ocean has fishes. If it doesn't have fish, it, every ocean has fishes. Which ocean does not have fishes? Are uh, my question. But that's what I'm saying. Every ocean has fishes. Uh, um. Wait a second. Which ocean? Wait a second. Fish. Can I ask one now? Yeah, you ask me. Can I ask? Ask me. Yeah. Name the sea between Italy and the Balkan Peninsula, which is a part of the Mediterranean Sea. Now you're just trying to kill me. I don't know. I don't even know what you just said. You're asking me oh, about the sea. Between Italy and something, and I do not know. It's about the sea, sorry. I, I, I do not I do not study about which season between Italy and yeah, please don't ask me these kind of questions. The simple one, one simple one. If you know the answer, don't ask. A, a flattened area along the ocean floor in known as what? A oh. trench. Okay. Just. If you know the answer, don't ask. That's not a question. How was she How was she Okay, now, uh, if anybody wants to ask a question, just you can unmute your mic and tell, can I ask a question? Hi. Yes, Hi. Can Hi. Yes, Hi. Ask Hi. yes, ask me, ask me. Chocolate, sweet, chocolate. Yes. Chocolate. Yes. Chocolate. Chocolate. What is that sound? Okay, so, so uh, three questions. So, is that first or should I just... Uh, what? How do icebergs lose their salt? Yeah. What? <laughs> how do icebergs lose their salt? Kendra, your sound is very negative. What is in the chat box? Um, 
I think did, did you ask yeah. how do icebergs yeah. lose their salt? Shina ma'am, Nitya ma'am, are you here? More or less. What's the word? Can you like it? But I know that. Yes, ma'am. Of course. What happened? So, ma'am, it's almost three twenty. Right. Yeah, so they have to fill the sheet, evaluation, evaluation sheet. sheet yeah. yeah, I think you already mentioned it, right? So, yes. have you filled so, it, children? Akash, I have one more question. Akash, she asked, how do you, how do icebergs lose their salt? Uh, this is not exactly related to the topic, but I am pretty sure Melting glaciers and icebergs release fresh water and reduce the saltiness of the surrounding sea. That's all I have actually studied. I suppose after they're frozen, there's no salt left in them because it's like it comes out. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I have one more question. Yes, please ask. Okay, what? Uh, see when we went inside of the ocean, and uh, if we saw jellyfish, and if the jellyfish touch us, what does happen? We, what happens is we need to go to the hospital because the jellyfish thing can be fatal and can almost kill a person. So if you get stung by a jellyfish, go to the hospital. I am telling. Uh, I am telling under of the ocean if we just a uh, touch or uh outside if we saw and touch means which one is more dangerous outside inside the ocean and inside the water yes in the sea if we saw and uh, mystically if we touch that one is more dangerous or uh inside of like the ocean if are, most likely if it's on land it probably will be Dead. So I suppose when when it's more when it's underwater, it's alive because a jellyfish is like ninety percent water. Can yes, I think Honyu got the answer right. So Akash, it was a very nice and very informative session. Okay, so children, yeah. can you all fill the evaluation form? Because can we I have fill just five more minutes. Yes. Akash. What, what? No, not you. Akash. Well, I, I need to give myself a 10 out of I mean, I need to give myself Shihina a 10 out of 10. Shahina, ma'am, before. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we need only our brain. Uh, yeah, uh, those most mid uh, Okay. The brainiacs, middle and darkness, middle, they can leave. After that, only we need to share the evaluation sheet. Okay. So, can I leave? Okay. Yes, Thank the, you. Middle and Akmis Middle, you can leave. No need to join back to your class because it's almost 326. So, so today's class. Thank you. 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 Thank Ma'am, brain experiment will stay here or go? Brain experiment should go. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Brain experiment student shouldn't go. Rest all can go. Really? Wait, what? I don't understand. No, no, no. No more is there. Okay. So can I go? No, ma'am said no one. Oh, oh, I need to go. I also really need to go. I have At class later. I'm sharing the evaluation sheet in the box. So, Cosmos, Middle and Brainiacs here to fill the evaluation sheet. What do I do in that? There are still a lot of students in there. Please share the screen and show them because I have some network. That's why I couldn't share the screen. Shahina ma'am or Nitina ma'am? You 
evaluation.